Hey everyone, this is Matthew from North Missouri, and you are watching Trucker Josh and Diesel on TJV. Good morning, Chevy. Good morning, world. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a good morning. And if it's not morning where you are, well, why not? That's weird. Good day, good afternoon, good evening. I, you get it. Hope you're having a good day. Me and Chevy here are just uh, grazing, you know, the couple of cows that we are. Right, Chevy? Just mowing the lawn for them because they really haven't really mowed the lawn here. We're in Sauk Center, Minnesota. We're on our way down to Wadsworth, Illinois. We're gonna get there tonight. I'm just thinking, hopefully we're gonna get parking. I slept a little longer than I wanted to this morning. We're still gonna make it. We still got lots of time to get there on time, but less time to stop like for showers and stuff. I set my alarm for nine this morning. What was it, eight? I set, I set my alarm anyways for nine o'clock, yeah. And I slept right through it. I mean, I did drive really late, but I slept right through it, and now I'm a little bit behind. I still think it didn't go off. I, didn't, I always wake up on my alarm, and it didn't go off. So something glitched. I got one of those Wowie phones. They're all right, but mine has started to glitch a little bit after about a year of having it. I think I've had it for close to a year. I don't know, the Samsungs, they glitch too, and I'm not much of an iPhone person, so I'm not part of that crowd, so I can't really tell you much about those, but <sighs> technology. They make it to break on purpose, or they make it to be outdated in a year on purpose, because they want you to buy their new stuff. So I'm not really surprised that I'm having problems with it. Ugh. But anyway, hey, ow, maybe poke me in the eye. Chevy, you ready for this? You ready for this? Let's go to Illinois. I think you're done. Come. Come on, buddy. Are you hungry? You want some breakfast? All right, let's give her a little tug test. Trailer is definitely not going to fall off. And here we go. Running a little later than I wanted to be, so less time for stopping today. I'll have to shower at the end of my day instead of in the middle somewhere. Which is all right. Good thing I work alone. <laughs> need to get there. We have a crane appointment for tomorrow morning to get this freight off of me. Tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. So if I'm late, they're going to charge me for making the crane wait because the crane gets paid by the hour. So I will be there at 7.30. Not paying for no crane. So there's about 796 kilometers. Let's round that up to 800 kilometers. That's 500 miles that we got to do today. Shouldn't be too bad. The only city we're going through is Minneapolis. Oh, and Milwaukee. Shoot, yeah, and Milwaukee. So we'll have to uh, hope and pray that there won't be any big traffic jams or anything blocking the highway because I don't have too much time to play with now. I think I had my phone on silent by accident. I haven't done that in a long time. I'm glad the temperature outside was hot enough that uh, it woke me up. I got uncomfortable because it's too warm. All right, here we go. They almost need lights here at this truck stop. It's called the Trucker's Inn. They almost need lights there because it's always so, very often it's so difficult to get back onto this road because this road going through here is uh, so busy all the time.
River Falls, Wisconsin. A little over halfway. We still got about four hours to go yet. Just gonna pull into the Flying J here and grab some fuel. This has always been more of a common stop for me because this Flying J is about one day's drive from home. A full day's drive. Usually I don't like to drive a full day on my first day unless if I have to because of time restraints and stuff. Usually I'm tired, well, not tired, but I'm, you know, just getting back into the swing of things after being at home. My first day on the road, I sort of don't really want to be in the truck yet. I, I miss home, but I still love my job. And, you know, after a day, second day on the road, it's, I just sort of get into work mode and I just go on to autopilot almost. What I mean by that is like, I just, it's almost like a routine. You know, I've been doing this a little while already. Uh, not too long. My dad's been doing this obviously a whole lot longer than me, but I started driving in 2006 and I started doing this exact job like over the road in 2011. So it's sort of just routine already, but it's a routine that I like and that's important. You have to like what you do. Which one? Which one? They always have two here. I don't know why. Let's use this one because this one's got the DEF. Which means I'm going to have to back up a little bit. Actually, no, I don't need DEF today. We'll just get diesel. You don't need to fuel your DEF tank up every time. Uh, one tank of DEF, I believe, is about 80 gallons, US gallons. And it lasts about 4,000 kilometers or, you know, like, what would that be? almost 3,000 miles, 2,500 miles. So you don't gotta fill it up every time. So this tank here is 4,000 US gallons. Not sure what they're gonna put in it. It might be a DEF tank, because 4,000 gallons, it, it, it seems like if it was like a diesel tank, that would empty out pretty quickly at a loves. I don't know, this might be for something else too. Deliver quite a few of these tanks. And this one on the front here is 850 gallons. You guys like my new mud flaps? I got them for free when I got it serviced at TA last month. I turned this into my half hour break here. Went inside, grabbed a quick bite to eat. And uh, now we don't need to stop again until we get there. Karen's telling me we're gonna get to our destination just after nine o'clock. I hope I'm gonna find a parking spot nearby there. And then we deliver at 8 a.m. in the morning, so it gives us plenty of time. This Flying J is like a unique one. This one must have been a different truck stop at some time and then Flying J bought it out. Look at that dump truck, that'd be fun to drive around. Those trailers, like those low boy trailers, they must hit like a lot of railway crossings and stuff. <laughs> well, I was wondering, I guess you just gotta hit it with a bit of a speed and just drag it over, right? Eh? Try to avoid them as much as possible. But I think that those would rub on the ground quite a bit. Same thing with car haulers, they're always very low to the ground too, right? It'd make me very nervous, it'd be something to get used to. Oh, come on, buddy. Hello. You didn't even look in your mirror, did you? Didn't even look in his mirror. Hasn't even looked at me yet. In 200 meters, take the entrance to the ride on I-94 East. All right, Karen, I trust you. She hasn't led me wrong yet. We'll see how well she guides me to where I need to go. Mandy was a little outdated. She needs an update. I mean, I'm, I'm sure she would have improved if I would have just hooked her up to the internet and updated her, but... Now I went for the newer, slimmer model. Plus, this Rand McNally, this thing's awesome. Literally, it's showing me where all the Walmarts are. That is a GPS made just for Trucker Josh. 
I don't even gotta search for where they are. They just show up. Like I can just click on one now and it'll bring me right to the nearest Walmart. Fantastic. Mandy couldn't do that. We're on I-94 here. Or is this the I-90? <laughs> this is the... This would be the 94, right? Goes towards Milwaukee? Karen! Karen! I-94, yeah, it says right on the bottom there. I-94 East. Still don't know how to... Still don't know how she does all her things yet. I don't know how to uh, work all the buttons yet. The I-94 eastbound here. We're headed towards Milwaukee. Got to go around Milwaukee and head down there. I don't know if I don't know if you can sort of see it from my head cam down to the the map over there on the GPS. But one thing I really like about this GPS is it actually shows me where the rest areas are. Whereas in Mandy, I'd always have to like hit a few buttons on the GPS before it would tell me where any of that was. It tells me where the scales are, where the rest areas are, shows me where Walmarts are. It's all very convenient, very nice. I'm really liking this new GPS. It's the Rand McNally uh, 830, I think. I don't know the exact model. It's a eight inch screen, so it's pretty big. Uh, the way I have it mounted here is it's in a perfect spot. Doesn't block access to that mirror over there. I can see that just fine. I can see that mirror and everything else just fine. So it works great right there. And uh, all the features that Karen has just puts Mandy to shame. I don't miss her at all. So it says we've got 121 kilometers. So that's, what, 70 miles or so? 75 miles? Hopefully, 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 there will be parking for us at the TA. I believe the new Loves, where we're delivering these tanks to, is uh, right across the street from there. So anyone who fuels up there, hey, I delivered those. I delivered those tanks, that, or at least some of them, that hold the fuel at that gas station. Well, I guess we'll find out tomorrow morning, or tonight, exactly where it is. I just hope I can find parking there, because it's right between Milwaukee and Chicago. So it's, it's going to be busy, and we're getting there around 9.30 now. So uh, it's kind of late to be pulling into a truck stop right between two big cities like that. Guess we'll see, see what happens. So this trip is very similar to our last trip where we brought that lumber down to, uh, where was it, Oak Creek? No, we brought the lumber down somewhere else in Wisconsin, but we picked up that load in Oak Creek, that, that boom truck, right? I was right around the same place that we're dropping off this freight this week. So this week is almost like a mirror image of last week. Tomorrow after I'm empty, I head over to Evansville, Wisconsin. I've told you this already, right? And pick up a load that's going to uh, Fort McMurray, way up in Northern Alberta. It's a three day drive. I'll be picking it up Thursday. So I'll Friday, Saturday, Sunday to get there. Uh, including part of Thursday. So I'm kind of hoping that I can get sort of like almost a full day's drive in tomorrow. Uh, Evansville is only an hour and a half or two hours away from where we are now, depending on traffic. I think it's a little, I think it's about an hour and three quarter. And uh, how many lanes are closed here? This lane closed too? Just one, okay. That guy's in a hurry. Yikes. And, uh,. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, it's only like an hour and 45 minutes, two hours from here. Then I got to tie down that load. That's going to take me a little while because I just got to be careful tying down the steel. Especially if there's a lot of like uh, low gauge steel on the top. Got to make sure I don't bend it with the straps and strap protectors on everything. They don't want me to use chains, so I got to use strap protectors on every corner. Uh, and that's a long drive. And I believe they want me to pass by home. They got some stuff for me to pick up at the office, I think. So that adds an extra 60 miles onto my rope, but that's okay. Maybe I can go home for night then. Because if I get a good good amount done tomorrow, on Thursday, I can probably get home like Friday sometime and then go home for night Friday and then leave Saturday morning to continue on towards Fort McMurray. Wow! Yikes! A little bumpier than I thought it was going to be. So 50 kilometers or 30 miles up here is where our destination is. I hope there's going to be parking. It's going to be 9.30 still yet when we get there. It's right 
at the state border with Illinois, looks like. Let's see what happens. Everyone seems to be in a real big hurry here. There's something going on in Milwaukee that I don't know about. Everyone in a hurry to get out of town? Russell Road, exit 1A. In 300 meters, tag CRA1 Russell Road and then turn right in 550 meters, crossing border, entering Illinois. So it's just barely into Illinois. Okay, so there's the TA. Where is my in 400 meters, customer turn then? Right on Russell Road, CRA1 and then turn left in 270 meters. I thought it said that it's a Love's Travel Stop that I'm delivering it to, but... I don't... Oh, there's a truck stop on the right here, too? Okay, so there's one of these is getting new fuel tanks in the ground. And I have it on my trailer for them. So... Oh, one's a, is that a Flying J? I'm gonna have to figure this out. I know you guys can barely see anything right now. There's another gas station off to our left here that's being built. That's where my delivery will be. You can already see it's all dug up. Okay, so it'll be right across the road from here. I'm not actually stopping at the TA. I'm gonna go to this truck stop because I'm literally across the road then. Oh yeah, it's a Love's. It's a Love's Travel Plaza that's being built here. So on the I-94 in Russell Road, right at the border with Wisconsin, in Illinois, there's a Love's coming up. If you go and fuel there, I delivered those underground fuel tanks, or one of them. Let's see, where can we park? Oh, it looks full. It looks full. Just like I thought. Might have to make a spot somewhere. I should just go park in the job site across the road, but they might not like that. I am delivering there first thing in the morning, but they might have an appointment before me and I don't want to be in their way. Oh, 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 nope, Bobtail. Oh, Bobtail. Bobtail, you could park anywhere. Why do you got to take up these spots? Okay, well, I'm just going to do a U-turn here then. Go this way. I'll probably have to go to TA. Thought for a second they were gonna charge for parking. I don't know about this. I think I parked here before. I, I've been here before. I'm hoping I can find parking. This is always the worst part of the day, especially when you arrive somewhere later than you wanted to. This is why you always want to try to end your day early and start early, end early. But I mean, if everybody does this, then we just have this problem just earlier. <laughs> well, I found a spot pretty much at the very back corner. The last spot I wanted, but it was the only spot available. I'd rather not park in that dark back corner. I don't know this area very well. I don't know how safe it is. It seems like a good area, but still. Whatever, we found a spot. It was the actual last spot in this whole parking lot. And now I'm just running in to grab some milk and uh, maybe a little snack to have before bed. And that'll be that. Tomorrow morning we deliver across the street. And then we'll be back on our way back to Canada. Well, once we pick up our load. Look at that guy's trailer. Looks like his trailer is too small for his truck. Nice truck, though. <laughs> Maybe it's supposed to be like that. Mm. There's a truck wash over there. Eagle truck wash. I wonder if they're cheaper than Blue Beacon. There's a Chevy in here. There's a Chevy right there. Good boy. Good boy. All right, everybody. I'm going to end the vlog here today. We made it. Tomorrow's the big day. Woo! We get to deliver our freight. I'm excited. Then we get to go pick up more stuff and bring it somewhere else. My favorite part of the job, bringing stuff from one point to the next point. Satisfying.
especially when you get the bill signed and a happy customer. No problems along the way. Get unloaded on time. You arrive on time, even early. <sighs> Satisfying. So I'll talk to you tomorrow, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to like the video if you did like it. If you share the video, it goes a long way. YouTube doesn't always recommend my videos to people anymore. I don't know the algorithms on YouTube. No one really understands how they work. So if you think other people should watch my videos, you can recommend them and share it on your social media if you'd like to. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Say goodbye, Chevy. Say goodbye, Chevy. Say goodbye, Chevy. Goodbye, Chevy. Hi, I'm Pastor Chuck from East Earl, Pennsylvania, and you're watching Trucker Josh on TJV.